primarily the uh, the euro pairs are the one that again is the weakest so this is the one we want to be looking at so the second pair that is or the one that's quite interesting I want to as I said I'm going to show it to you in the beginning this was is the euro cad I'm just waiting until it appears on your screen okay now if you look at the euro cat from last week we had our long point 143.38 we had a structure long at 143.38 and we had our stop 143.38 so this means if it goes above the 143.38 we should stay above it and if it fails then we turn around and sell it and this is what happened you can see how many times it has tried to trade above the 143.38 and how many times it has failed and thus the big failure and it has held these two lows several times so it did a it did a pretty nice technical topping pattern right there at or around the 143.38, and it turned around and was sold in uh, vengeance. Uh, the low of the day was 140.11, and it closed at 140.50, about 30 pips away from the, the low of the day, which is not, which is pretty good. I mean, it's a decent close, which indicates continuation to the downside, and we should be looking for it to continue uh, down. And our setup would be fairly uh, easy, if you will. But keep in mind, if you look at the daily chart, what I have here, this is your structure point, 143.38. This is the structure low 137.76 and so we have a very big range for the uh, Euro CAD to oscillate so it, it's trading between the 143.38 and the 143.70 137 so that's a pretty you got about 300 pips move to the downside so let's see what, where we Okay, so our short, we're going to take the short below the 140, 140 or 1, the euro can. Our short point 140. Okay, and our structure short is the 137, it's still from last week, still the same. Our structure long is the 143.38 still from last week, so we're going to keep them as is. Uh, if I go short below the 140.10, then my stop is going to be above the market side of 140.47. And okay, so this is my long. Now, what is my short? One forty two, one forty ten. My uh, short is one forty forty seven. My long point. Let me see where my long point is. I have to take it. I don't have any reason to take it unless it goes above the 141.11 so that's going to be my long point okay and if I buy it 
I'll put my stop below the range which is going to be 140.70 okay so this is the EuroCAD we're going to buy it above 141.11 and if we do, we're going, our structure long is 143.38, which has been the same from last week. And if I buy it, I'm going to place my stop below 140.47, which I'm risking about 50, 60 pips on that trade. And on the short side, I'm going short below 104, 140.10. And my structure short is 137.76. And if I do go short here, I'm placing a stop about 140.60, 140.70. So I'm using about 60 pip stops on that trade. Okay, that is the EuroCAD.